Climate change. It's a poor name that doesn't illustrate the reality of weather disasters, depleting resources, dying industries, and massive population shifts. We can't prevent climate change completely. That time has passed. It's here, and to say that it's going to suck is a massive understatement. We're taking damage right now, but it's not over yet. Just because you're on fire doesn't mean you shouldn't stop, drop, and roll. No one is going to save us except us. All of us as a community coming together. We're not saying this to create fear, but to underline the importance of this issue and how it really does affect everyone. That's the first step, acknowledging both that there are still things that we have to do and that we can still accomplish them. Discussing this issue is important, given that climate change has extremely poor coverage in the media. Furthermore, bullshit on social media, whether denial of the problem or fatalistic doomerism, undermines our collective ability to understand the problem, which in turn limits our ability to make long-term decisions needed to stem further disaster. Fossil fuel-based companies invest in lobbying groups tied to blocking clean energy policies, as well as media campaigns designed to convince people that climate change is the fault of your individual action deflecting attention away from corporate policies and demands for larger policy interventions. While individual action helps, the majority of emissions affecting climate change come from fossil fuel corporations. Dealing with this problem will require massive systemic change. There are low effort actions that we should keep doing, such as voting and advocating for policy. Electoralism hasn't solved the problem yet but it's not a front that should be abandoned. We will need top-down regulation to stop the majority of pollution required to avoid a worse fate than we are facing. Even imperfect policies have had a huge impact to the benefit of everyone. World leaders are still pointing fingers and casting doubt. We can't wait for the leadership we want. We must all be leaders in our communities and do what we can now. Counter denial and doomerism on social media with advocacy of your own. Post to promote nature walks, cleanup drives, and behavior that benefits the environment. Talk with people in person about climate change, and even contact representatives, using phone calls and written letters so that policies you advocate for are recorded by their staff. Promote behavior that encourages people to refuse, reduce, and reuse, such as buying a little less of the stuff we don't need cutting back on foods that are water and energy inefficient. Encourage the planting of greenery, especially trees, which capture carbon and provide shade from the heat. Support energy infrastructure plans that focus on renewables and push toward net zero or net negative emissions. And keep pressure and scrutiny on those renewable energy sources to combat the externalization of those emissions. Advocacy helps to shape public perception, demonstrating ways we can help, while increasing demand to influence policy. Beyond taking steps to stem the warming of global surface temperatures, we also need to adapt our lives and communities to those changes that we cannot prevent. Dangerous weather has already become more extreme, more prevalent, and harder to predict. And people are already dying from extreme heat and cold. Our lives are impacted more often, and our current infrastructure isn't holding up. We need to prepare for events ourselves through direct action and mutual aid. When you have the chance, store up and regularly replenish supplies to stay safe if you find yourself without access to food, water, or medication. Network with friends, family, and other people in your area. Offer to help one another and coordinate an action plan for possible disasters in your region. Like many complicated and advocacy-based issues, it will be necessary to push for change when you can and give yourself a vacation when dooming too hard. Have boundaries and set activism schedules. Make friends and help each other. Make plans and enact them at a speed that creates a new normal. Apathy is death. Our worst case scenario comes from everyone doing nothing. It's our collective responsibility to challenge the status quo. We can help ourselves, help others, while also pushing for more. Don't let fear stop you. Be part of the solution while celebrating and sharing the effort that allows your community to survive and thrive in a rapidly changing world. Thank you for watching. We know that this was a tough ride and hope that this empowers you to join us in advocating for better action. 
Special thanks to Ilkin Gamber and our other patrons for funding this video. We really appreciate the support. 